everybody, it's Jack 20 Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tune, the last part. Well, we left off me going into Mumbo's hut. And so now, I am going to see what Mumbo can do for us here. Yeah, we got your Globo right here. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm using this voice record. Well, as it was explained in Kingdom Hearts part, for those of you who didn't see Kingdom Hearts part yesterday, um... Programs were going pro okay. Short version. Programs crap. Couldn't record stuff for a while. Had to fix stuff. Had to adopt new, older fashions of doing it. Videos may seem a little bit outdated, but I'm working quickly on how to at least fix the Kingdom Hearts ones because the Banjo Two ones they always kind of look like this, don't they? <clears throat> anyway. Let's see what we can do. So the spell this place is enlarge. Hmm, that'll make it easier to get across. We don't really need to use those stepping stones right now. The next area we want to go to is around Humba Wumba's place. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I, c I didn't want to use the new mic right now because I want to edit this in the new Movie Maker, which doesn't let you use my cool new mic. So I'm doing it this way. I don't know. I re I think I don't know if I should keep it this way. Well, we're gonna enlarge her her wigwam. Oh well. There also may be some lag in this. I'm realizing now as I go through this, there probably is going to be some lag. And for that, I apologize. Just fixing it up every now and then. But anyway. But I'm going to do whatever I can to fix it. And. The videos will be just as good as new as they've had, always been the next parts. This is just me trying to fix it. But anyway, let's enlarge this dinosaur that we saw. Don't worry, this is the last time we have to see this silly dance here. Yeah, we know. <sighs> and there we go. I'm right, you're welcome. Well, I'm out of here. Because we're pretty much done with him now. Uh, what to talk about? Uh, do the, the Jack and Daxter thing on the bot flares is still going, still going on. Uh, still waiting for that part to get uploaded onto Bofflers, but it should be up in a while, in a little bit. Anyway. Yep, Mumbo, you're done. So let's see what we can do at Wumba's now that we uh, enlarge the place a bit. Hopefully we can actually do something better with that T-Rex, because that was just... Bleh. All right. There we go. Hmm. Gotta be something else to talk about. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be seeing some really cool thing here. So much I want to do celebratory jump. So let's see what we can do. Whoa! Everything's big here. I right, see what this turns this into now. It's like ten times bigger. Whoa! Huh. No kidding. That's what I'm talking about. That's what a T Rex should be like. It's kind of a shame, though. You don't do a lot as the dinosaur. I'll show you what we can do now. We can jump down here. 
we can uh, run through this little tunnel. Uh, hang on, there we go. Pretty much this thing, this thing doesn't even need health. It kills things with a touch like that. See, look at that. It can roar. Look at that. Anyway, there's a, speci there's a certain person I want to introduce with this roar. Hello, Mr. Caveman blocking the Oogle Boogle Cave. Aye! That's scary. We must go change the loincloth. Didn't really need to know that, but... He's gone, and now we can see what the heck is behind that cave he's guarding. Gotta be careful here... There we go. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there is one other thing we can do. Uh, there it is. Step on this big switch. And down there a Jinjo cage opens. Run. That's it. Run back to Humble's Wigwam because now you only have 30 seconds to transform back into Banjo and get in that cave. And don't worry, the timer's not like going to run when you're inside. And it doesn't run for this. Otherwise, if it did, this challenge would be like so much harder. But, at least kept it reasonable. Let's just run out. I hope there's not going to be this much lag all the time anymore. Because this gets annoying. Like, really annoying. Okay. Jinjo. Wow. We only need one more yellow one. That's awesome. Oh, no. No. Oh, two. You gotta be kidding me. And you don't even give me any health. What, what gives, man? Oh, well, we're just getting started in this episode of things I will have to do. As we move on to the big things. First one being... Hang on. What can I do? I've already seen a lot of this area. Hmm. Well, nothing really else I probably can do except actually go inside that cave we opened up from the T-Rex. So, I'm going to head into that cave. Which I believe the Ungabunga called the Oogle Boogles or whatever. So let's see what we can find. Hmm. Whoa. Sheesh, let's get some light in here. Get the fire eggs and let's light this guy's fire. Sheesh. There we go. There you go, warm yourself up a bit. Junk food. You know how much that stuff costs nowadays? Oh well. Up here. Well, we can go back here and open this switch. It opens up the, air, the witchy world. And just in there, we also saw junk food. Ah, the screen recorder is going crazy in this dark environment. Me contrast, get that light in here. He's doing jumping jacks, he's so excited. Man, see, so you're gonna have to get junk food for these guys. Doesn't matter what. Hmm. So for now. See, I think that's one. I'm gonna like make little pause breaks in the audio that we can have enough time to, uh, you know, catch up and not be all laggy. But I will fix it because I'll be more prepared for this. <sighs> this hopefully will be the last like big, like, tran. I don't even know what you call it. Transformate, not transformation. Like change of how I record videos. I don't know, but either way, I hope. I do not do, it is not this bad anymore. <clears throat> I really hope I can make it worth wa like watchable again. Yes, we know you want junk food, all right? All your other relatives and or brothers and or family, I don't know, I think I just said the same thing. I, we all know you need junk food. Just go to Kazooie because there's another egg in here we can hatch. Just run up here and use the uh, the pad. There you are. Let's hatch you up. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, yes, we know it's one of your precious babies, and yes, it is adorable. 
I'm still amazed it can fly right after being hatched and having no real wings except for little stubby arms. Anyway, we're done here. Let's get out of here right now. This is just gonna this this is more backtracking stuff that I just don't want to look at right now. Well, what can I show now? Oh, I can show this. Right over here. There's a mini game we can find, I am correct. Just have to go on this side of the waterfall in here. Should be the right yep, here we are. Alright. Now, there's this big old center like pillar in the middle of the room. But it's not well you can't really get to it. Like jumping is not gonna help you. So we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. You have to fly up there. I'm gonna get some gold feathers. I want those. There we go. Nice good even mount. You could fly up there. But I don't really want to do that right now. I'll do it the fun way. Spring shoes and miss. Let's try that again. Okay, come on. It's one jump. One. There we go. Wait, what? This guy looks like he means business. Uh. He sniffed us. That's usually not good. Oh. He ate us. Now see, here's a now here's something I'm just calling this out. If Grundy had just hired him, we, this game would just be over. But no. Can you hear me in there? Don't I just do? You help me out with my little stomach problem. Wanna hear it? Mm, yeah, why not? Nasty Blar. Uh oh, he's blue. Sign already tells me. I already know what we're gonna be doing. It's a shooting game. You have to basically shoot. All of the uh, little ulcer thingies. Yes, we know the Banjo Tui scoring rubric, whatever you want to call it. Basically, and he also gives you gold eggs, which makes this game unbelievably easy. This is what you do. You ready? You get into the game, and yeah, hold Z, tape down the controller, like tape down the button, and just start running around. As long as you stay facing them and just move, like just from side to side, this game couldn't get that much, couldn't get any easier. Just make sure that you just keep some in view at all times. Remember the whole little strategy: go more for the green ones. Um, don't go out of your way to get to a blue one if it's really far out of the way. But there's like, like, look at all that. Unbelievable. And we only need 75. Look at this. And there you go. 15 seconds left to spare. No biggie. Just keep going. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let's see how much we can get. Can I get to 100? Can I get to 100? Can I get to 100? Can I get to. Yes! I feel so accomplished now that I got to 100. My life is complete with this game. And he gives us a jiggy. As expected. No, I don't want to play again. Well, so I'm one way out of this. Let's just walk up his esophagus thing. It's amazing. All these areas of Banjo 2 always look so much smaller from the outside. But there's one thing we have to learn from Banjo 2 -E and Banjo Kazooie everything looks smaller on the, on the outside. And he leaves us. And that's pretty much everything inside the mountain, really. Well, everything we can get. I think there's some some other stuff you have to use, like different things that we haven't unlocked yet. But anyway, hmm, split up pads that may become useful later. Anyway, oh, what's going on? Da -da. What are we gonna do now? What's to do? Oh, I know. We can actually find that train station. Cause I'm pretty sure it's about time I actually start showing what the train stations of this area is cuz if you remember we had to save that dinosaur from witchy world but we he had like now nah, what um can't talk man nah. 
that dinosaur we saved from Witchy World, and I believe that she was one of that Triceratops is uh, Starachosaurus, whatever they call themselves, one of her fam one of their family. So let's go in here. Ooh, a Jinjo! Oh boy, Minjo, Minjo, Minjo. Okay. First things first. Let's call Chuffy here. Yeah, we don't care you're enjoying him. We need you to come over here right away. That's right, on your way. No detours. That's a good train. Ah, it probably sounds really loud because I realize since I'm holding the recorder in my hand and I decided to start cracking my knuckles, it probably gets picked up really loud on the mic. Sorry for those of you hearing that. And now that Chuffy's here, Yeah, you better run home quickly. That's all. So she's not too mad. Yeah, it is Styracosaurus. Look at that. They totally look like Triceratops, though. Oh, boy. I do not envy her. Well... There's one other thing we can do. We can get rid of the last rock nut. Just get our uh, click clock egg. There we go. And just run around and kaboom! <laughs> just shoot. Let's just shoot another one. Oh, two, two eye up. Me shoot another one up there to pick up the jiggy, which is cool because I still love that you can pick up items with this. And there we go. Not do nah, not too shabby. Yeah, we still have a lot more jiggies to go, but <clears throat> we're getting a lot of the stuff to get more jiggies here. Hmm, what can I do now? Oh, I can show some split up hat stuff we can do with uh, what was it called? Is it Banjo's sack pack or whatever it is? Uh, I'm forgetting now. Hmm. Taxi pack, that was it. So, there's a but we learned it like two parts ago, but now we can actually use our taxi pack. So, we're gonna have to head up here. Oh boy, run, Benjo! Oh no, shoot. Uh, time to do a glitch, double jump timing. Oh boy, that was a close one. I mean, this is incredible. That's probably one of the most used glitches you can do with this game, but I won't use it too much. I, I, I'll probably be using it a lot in the next world, though, but here, yeah, well. Get away from that possessed bon yeah, beehive, whatever. I hate them. They move, they take two hits, and they only give you two honeycombs, when the, the normal ones only gave you three. Oh, well. Time to take care of this sick blue guy. Hmm. So we just, uh, oh, wait, what's the problem with this guy anyway? Yeah? You don't look too pleased. I'm still worried about the rest of my family. Look at my eldest, Scrat. Hmm, he's a doctor. Hmm. We know a witch doctor. Or at least someone who looks like a witch doctor. Ooh, a shaman on the cliff. Oh, 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 the, oh, the, oh, Mumbo and the Isle of Hags. Yeah, we're not bad. So let's hold Z and the left C button. There we go. Just press B and there you go. There you go. You can still do all your attacks, only that now you'll be carrying that, this guy. Now you can't actually carry him out of levels though. So sadly, we're gonna have to do a, we're gonna have to take a more long path around this. Hmm. I'm so amazed at the Banjo's strength. Heck, half the time he's doing all this fighting, then he can lift a giant dinosaur up on his back. Hmm. Anyway, so we're going to head over to the train station, because, yep, that's right, another one of these dang little Styracosaur need another train ride. This train ride's going to be helpful. And it's probably going to be the last thing I'm going to show, because I'm still looking at my timer almost at 21 minutes. 
That's my safe zone time. Sometimes I go up to sometimes I go a little over it, but it's usually my average time. So we're just gonna go into the back of the caboose or whatever you want to call the storage crate. What do they call it? Inside Chuffy's wagon, there you go. Just do push. There you go. If you want what I did, I just held Z and did the same left C button again. Anyway, that's how, that's what you do. You hold left C at the Z button to put them in after pressing B, and you do it, press the button again to remove them. So you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to be pretty much done here. I'm done with this. Ah, Just watching this whole thing. I'm pretty sure this is a fail of a banjo 2 episode. Ugh. But, I'm pretty, but don't worry. The next one probably will be a lot better. If not, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm going to fix this somehow. So, so next time, I'm Lucky Jack Twain doing the Let's Play of Banjo Tooie. And the next part, we are going to finish up, hopefully, like finish up Terry Dack, the land, and check out the new world. So, see ya.